we've got an adult's boat, which is Catalpa, and um, the kids are all on Alakai. Today we're in Lombok and Lee is replacing our anchor winch after the incident with the two boats. Um, we've got a new winch to put in, so that's today's job. A bit rough, but hey, I didn't have a hole saw. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. So we're just living a gilly good day and um, we are on Catalpa and our children are on Nalakai, our friend's boat. So today we've got an adult's boat, which is Catalpa. And um, the kids are all on Alakai and they're all in charge and they are all going to get the seven nautical miles that we are going to the next anchorage. So it's pretty exciting for them. Their own boat, in charge of their own boat. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I think so far so good. Uh, we already had a broken solenoid. So uh, Lee had to hold on a switch down below while he was flaking the air out chain. So Catalpa was a little bit harder to pull anchor today. But yeah kids are coming behind us so hopefully they're filming and you'll be able to see what they get up to and how their experience is. They're already underway. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Sunshine in the day, and I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread.
Well, cheers to everyone arriving safely and raising some pretty capable kids. So we're anchored up um, in one of the islands of Lombok and I'm inside editing today. Kids are living their best life over here. Lee's gone to get our anchor winch that we've bought and um, that's pretty much what we're doing. But here they come, look at them, just living the dream. We just can't feed him. <laughs> and today we're in Lombok and Lee is replacing our anchor winch after the incident with the two boats. Um, we've got a new winch to put in so that's today's job. This morning Bella and I went over with Tara and the kids and did some yoga on the little island that's right here and that was really nice. And um, now we're going to get to work and get this anchor winch in so we can get out of here and get to Raja Ampat. Yeah. Let's go! been told, Bella told me to keep it real quick because it's really boring this to her, this stuff. So I'm going to talk real quick about what's going on. We have an anchor winch that is broken. We were hit by two boats. Uh, we've got a bent shaft on it. I'm going to try and fix it. I'm installing a new one today. I am keeping the original one. And just as a backup, if anything happens to this one. Um, so we're in Lombok. I found a workshop. He's an Aussie guy. He's got a brand new secondhand winch. It was installed on a boat, taken off a boat because they couldn't make payment. And we have it now, and we're going to start our install. Uh, we just pulled anchor yesterday, and our solenoid went. And we did get a new solenoid, because we knew we were getting a new anchor winch. Tip of the day, have a spare solenoid, because that's, I think, our second one now. And the guys that we travelled over to here with, on the same day, their solenoid just went too. So, yeah, let the fun begin. Lee has already removed the original windlass, and this one is the one we bought here in Lombok. We were lucky enough to be able to use a guy's workshop that had equipment here at a boatyard and Lee made up the plates and pipes and pieces he needed to install the new windlass. They don't care, those people get so easily... Meanwhile, the kids and the big kid were enjoying themselves on Nalakai in the rain. After the rain cleared out, Lee started the install of the winch. First thing was drilling a hole in the deck. Our deck is made of ferro cement, so this could take a while. Meanwhile, the kids came up with an idea about having their own adventure, but more on that later. What do they want to do, Ben? I don't know, darling. It all sounds too confusing for me. He says yes. Yeah! <laughs> rough but hey I didn't have a hole saw
see. Make that all level. And superplex over that and put it down. Alright. High five! Bella and Ali are in charge. <laughs> Bella and Ali. <laughs> All right, so one o'clock last night, I finished making a little bed up. Got an epoxy bed that I sat this in last night and positioned it exactly how I wanted it. You can sort of see it there, it's under there. It's a little bit rough, but um, got my plate that I made up. That'll get better down in a bit of 5200. The horse pipe down here, which we made up the other day in Steve's shed, which was a uh, go with a factory, all the gear. Good bloke he was, he even gave me some chain. Hopefully all goes to plan, I'll just wait a few hours for this to set and then we'll put this on top, 5200, bolted up underneath, a little bit of wiring and job done. We're back in action guys, Raja Rumput, here we come. Yo! Right guys, so these are your up and down buttons for your anchor windlass. Uh, this button works, this button doesn't. I've just undone this one, a couple of screws here, remove that, there's two more screws here. And you pull that out and it gives you access to the switch at the back. Um, they're really simple little fix. Um, this stopped working and it's probably going to take me three minutes to fix. So I'll bring you downstairs and I'll show you the switch. Okay so those two screws that were up on the, the top of the deck inside the switch, that's them there. That removes your switch. Uh, so it's pretty simple that just that's your pressure up on top pushing this as a conductor down to the two bolts here. So all that is, is that's got to push down and just make contact with those plates. So we'll remove a little pusher. So this is our problem. Just a slight little bit of debris, a little bit of build up there on either side. And then on here, there's a slight little bit there. It's not a lot, but enough just to stop the contact. And um, it's a pretty easy fix. I'm not even going to sand it. It's hardly any build up on it. I'm just going to give it a little wire brush. Might just turn those revs up. Just about there. Just a couple of burn marks either side. We'll clean them up and we'll put it back together. A little bit there, a little bit there. So, goes back in like so. Shiny, shiny. Spring back in. Guys, well, that's the easiest bit of electrical gear I've had to fix, I reckon. It's a two second job. I'll screw that back together and uh, away we go. My assistant here will we'll hold these, <laughs> we'll hold one of those. So, we'll put that there and we'll hold that on. There's no circuit, and when I push the button in, we've got a circuit. So that's how the switch works. Perfect, back in action. Now I can focus on putting the new winch back together or we'll install. Alright guys, it's been a hard morning. Woke up straight into pulling the anchor chain up. There it is. So what we've got. This is our new second hand chain we got when we picked up the winch. So this is actual 10 mil short link. And the chain which we had in is only about three mil bigger. It is a short link, but I don't know if it's just because it's stretched or worn. It doesn't go through the gypsy nicely. So we're gonna get rid of that. There's our join. So we've had these on with over 200 ton pulling on the anchor. So in my eyes, I don't see anything wrong with a chain link um, and get to see it fail. We've had massive seas and been hanging off the anchor and we've also had our recent accident with 200 ton hanging off the anchor. And um, this one's even been through the regale process and everything. Um, I think they're great. Originally I thought, you know, weakest link and all that, but um, it's been fine. It hasn't let us down at all. So I'm going to put another one on. They're quite a simple little unit. They're a two piece. Put the chain on, they've got prongs in there which you hammer down. And there you have it, you got a chain link. 
that one does concern me it says China on there but so did this one um, I know there is a brand out there can't think of what it's called and it's a trusted one um, it's a Canadian one there it is in the link there that Sarah found but otherwise these ones I've had and used and they've been fine we got them from Australia so I'm gonna cut this open join our new chain on still must have about 30 meters 40 meters out and put another 50 on we should be around 80 to 100 meters 35 was it we should have 85 meters um yeah and the rest of the chain fits in the gypsy nicely okay. so we actually had half short link and the other half we had that was originally on catalpa was a funny link in between short and long so i don't know what it is don't know enough about chains but i do know short link 10 mils what fits our gypsy we did contemplate in link how we're getting one but the old budget wasn't there so it would have been for christmas we would have been spam instead of ham so we chose the ham yeah so once again um steve's an absolute legend he's got a workshop here on lombok he's got every machine press bender welder you name it and he just happened to have a bit of short link spare along with his spare windlass that was installed on a boat and they didn't pay their bill so he removed it and we ended up with it so we bought the windlass even though it is second hand it was second hand unused and we bought the chain off him too which again is used but still in good condition otherwise for us to get a windlass here um, we did look into it and it was going to be about a three month wait with all the corona and whatnot um, so we thought we'd rather keep moving and we'll just install second hand Yui. Well, there we go all right i'm better get rolling because we're sort of only a little bit of scope out and if we get a storm come through we are going to drift size link. Are you joking? Just cut the chain. Are you joking? You're not funny mate. Got my hammer there behind you. Beautiful afternoon, and uh, Sarah's been downstairs playing around, so you know, making movies and that she reckons. And then I get the anchor winch on, and she comes up and just takes the cream. I think she can just come and tidy up the edges. I didn't ask to. <laughs> you asked me to. You know what you're doing there? Really? Making a mess. <laughs> he, can't, he gets me to do this bit because he hates it. 5200. Yeah, two days to install an anchor winch on anchor. We laid out the chain on the deck and marked every 10 metres of the new chain and switched it over. Confused. Why are we still using the old anchor winch? Thanks for watching that episode. If you haven't already, go check out our new website. What's on our website? Well, you can find out all the information on how to become a patron and also check out our new mates club.
We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.